Okay, this is going to be white against the Scandinavian defense. Why do they do it? I always take the pawn. Then I defend the pawn. Or if they take back with queen, I kick the queen away with the knight. So knight c3 is usually his second move. I'll go ahead and take the gambit. So now I'm up a pawn. Play like the Vienna. I get the bishop out. Uh, but this time I'm going to put knight on e2. That leaves the f file open for a push. So when they uh, eye my bishop, I protect it. I don't want to get stuck with a discovery. All right, castle. Again, I want to get the f-file open in this, just like Vienna. I'm going to go ahead and pin this knight, take it, and then get this fork. Force the bishop to take it. And now I'm going to try to trade the rooks off. Um, so I move the queen to e1. I go ahead and just kick this bishop with a pawn. Uh, let's get the knight to g3 to get that outpost on f5. So now I'm going to trade the rooks. All right, now I have a new nice combination here on g4 if I can get the queen there. So I get the knight in the outpost first. Now I'm attacking the mate. So he has to protect it. Now I get the discovery of the rook. And now I get the free pawn. Move the king so the pawn is not pinned anymore. Uh, he's threatening my rook, so I'll get the open file. I'm going to snag the pawn since it's free. This blunders a knight. Now it's pretty much game over. Mate in one, black resigns.